Tonight on Border Security, this woman admits she's been around a lot of drugs. I've done a swab on your bag. It's come up positive. What? She claims she's innocent. I've never been in trouble. Never been Clean in record. Trouble. But a drug test suggests otherwise. Not a small reading, but a large reading. Two men think they have the perfect cover. What is your purpose for travelling here today? Until they're confronted with their own lives. Are you sure about that? Sir, what is this? And this couple has something disturbing in their bag. Oh, looks like part of an animal. At Melbourne International Airport, Australian Border Force officers have taken aside this American woman as several details of her travel have stood out as a little unusual. Someone's paid for a ticket, they've booked a ticket for her, and she's only here for five days with one little backpack and a handbag, which we kind of think is a bit suspicious. She claims that her brother-in-law paid for the trip. How come you paid for it all, out of curiosity? Um, because he's a good brother-in-law. <laughs> he won a, a lot of money. He like won a lot like of money that. in a poker tournament, and I'm planning their wedding. Okay. So I was supposed to be in Vegas planning the wedding, but they decided to come here, so we all decided to come here on a vacation, and I'll just finish planning the wedding here. She's like, well, just... by the sounds of it, it's almost done. So yeah. why did they need to fly you out? Couldn't you just do a few minor because details? Because it's a vacation. Over the phone? I just went through a nasty breakup two months ago. Okay. So it's like a vacation for for me as well. Oh, I just got the call that we're all going. Okay, so he called you? No, my sister did. Sister did? Yes. And said what? Just, and Pack your bags, we're going to Australia. <laughs> and you said, Woohoo! Good, free trip, bonus. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard for officers to verify her story. In the meantime, a swab test of her belongings may expose another fact that she will need to explain. That's a very high reading for traces of methamphetamine and also certainly means that she has been in contact with it. So I've done a swab on your bag and it's come up positive. What? For drugs, illegal drugs. What? This Australian couple are returning home to Sydney from a trip to China. They've both indicated that they have nothing to declare. However, an X-ray of their luggage is suggesting that this may not be true. As we're going through here, we're finding a few items that um, look like could be food. One large items and some smaller items possibly could be fruit. These are definitely a couple of items of major concern and they uh, really need uh, further inspection here. First, biosecurity officer Warwick wants to confirm that their declarations are correct. You said no to everything here, you two? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. you packed them yourself? Yes, yeah. Okay, I'm going to open these bags. Yeah, okay. Okay? Okay. Is that, what's in there? Biscuit? That is, that's lolly. Lolly? Yeah. No, 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 lolly, that's no, a chestnut. No, 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 lolly. Chestnut. Lisa. Uh, nuts. Yep. Chestnuts. Nuts. Nuts. Yeah. yeah chestnuts. Do you see the word nuts in there? Oh, Number yeah. seven. What is this? What is it? A vegetable? Like watermelon, something like watermelon. that. Watermelon. Something like that. It's a fruit. It's a watermelon. Number six. Why didn't you tick? What's in here? What is that? Yes, well, for cooking. For cooking, but yeah. what is it? It's a green vegetable. Green, green. That's a green vegetable. You understand English? You understand the word vegetable? No, the only time I did not understand all. You told me before that you understood those questions. Yeah. The problem is, this is a legal document. It's a declaration to the Australian government that you have answered these questions correctly. You haven't told us You've got all these items. These are not allowed in the country. What is this? Oh, my God. Australian Border Force officers are about to interview two Pakistani men who are travelling together and claim to be visiting Sydney on a short holiday. Officer Lee speaks to one of the men with the help of a translator. 
What is your purpose for traveling here today? I just came here for relaxing time. Relaxing time. Is there any specific details that you can provide uh, me regarding your, you know, relaxing time here? I'm planning to visit here and there within Sydney area. Sydney area. Yes. Okay. How long are you planning to stay in Australia for? I will be leaving within a week. And where are you staying? Have you booked your accommodation? San Marta. I have a booking with my friend at a hotel in George Street. And so who's paid for this accommodation? Uh, my friend did. Okay. It's 60 something like that. For yourself? Just only yourself? No, no, two people. So are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just going to suspend the interview for a moment, okay, to speak to my manager. Sydney is one of the world's most expensive cities for accommodation, and Officer Lee is not entirely convinced by the man's story, so she wants to compare it to what his travelling companion has been saying in the other room. So he stated that the room is uh, $60 mm. a night, and two of them will be sharing. Is this not, right? No, that's not, not correct. Consistent. That's not consistent to what we found. What we found it. Um, both by contacting the, the hotel. Mm -hmm and from what the other person said. OK. Why have you come to Officers Australia? continue to question both the men, and it is soon discovered that many more details of their trip are not adding up. How long do you intend to stay in Australia? Some of the inconsistencies include their tourism plans, where they're going to be in Australia, as well as their intended departure dates. Based on what we found out, I do find it hard to believe that they are genuine tourists. In Melbourne, large traces of methamphetamines have been found on the belongings of this American woman, which indicates that there's a very strong possibility that she's recently been in contact with drugs. So I've done a swab on your bag, and it's come up positive. What? For drugs, illegal drugs. What? Now, not, a, sm not, a, small, not a small reading, but a large reading. That machine has indicated to me quite strongly that you have come into contact with some sort of drug. We don't use drugs. I'm like... Fair enough. Clean as... What I'm trying to do is get to the bottom of why the machine will tell me okay. that you've come into contact with drugs, yeah, OK? I mean, so at the, the moment, you can't tell me any reason why... I've never been in trouble. Never been Clean in record. Trouble. Never, ever don't have anything on my record at all. I'm a nurse. Yep. I'm also a drug and alcohol counsellor. I mean, I have patients that are in bands that tour all over the world. So it's my job to keep them sober while they're on tour. So, I mean, I'm probably oh. subject to How's a lot of stuff. How's that as a job? It's like being a glorified babysitter for a bunch of spoiled brats. Yeah, I can imagine. But, I mean, I'm sure I come into contact with God knows what, you know. Okay. Her explanation seems plausible, but because the readings are so high, officers want to conduct the frisk search. While it is being conducted at a different bench, officers have just taken aside another woman off a different flight. So I have here a female passenger. Um, she's coming from Dubai. She's also been in Ivory Coast and previous to that, uh, Nigeria. So I just want to have a chat with her and examine her further. But before officers begin this interview, they decide to x-ray her bag first and immediately discover that there is something very wrong. Looks like yeah. You haven't told us you've got all these items. These are not allowed in the country. Now. At Sydney Airport, two Australian residents have returned home from China with a bag full of undeclared food and high-risk items continue to be found. What is this? Oh, my God. This is not allowed in the country either. Go through the rubbish. It's going to go in the rubbish. It's going to be seized. You've got little seeds in here. What's in there? What's that? These are dates that have got a seed inside, not allowed in Australia because of seed. But the same old thing. You haven't declared these on your cards, on that card, have you? You've got a lot of items here not declared. What's in here, sir? 
I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Well, you're, you're the passenger coming into Australia. Well, someone's friend gave it to my wife. Someone gave it, it to you? Something. What's this? It looks like seeds. Look like seeds. Oh, seeds for growing, isn't it? Growing this plant? Yeah, I think so. And again, you have not ticked it on the cards? Yeah, only trust me. I really don't know someone put in. Sir, yeah. you are the passengers coming in here. You are responsible. I did ask you at the beginning if everything belonged to you, and you said yes. Now you're telling me someone else has put something yeah, in here? Help us. A lot of the friends come to help us to put it in. Well, you've got, you're the responsible person. You need to know what's okay. in your bags. Yeah. You just can't bring seeds in here and not declare. Big trouble. Th this is serious, sir. This is very serious. Australian Border Force officers suspect that these two men are not telling the truth that they've come to Australia for just a one-week holiday. Based on what we found out, I do find it hard to believe that they are genuine tourists. And officers have now found some concerning evidence on one of the men's mobile phones. We've located text messages indicating that he's coming to Australia for an extended period and also there are references to working. Uh, in those text messages. The person that he's speaking to looks like it's his partner offshore and he's saying that he's um, going to be here for three months. All the messages seem like she's pretty upset that he's going to be away for that long. The passenger will be confronted with the incriminating messages. Before you just go 10 days, now three months. I don't know how to live my days without you. Um, honey, you can have to do work for us. So obviously this is indicating that you're planning to, you know, be in Australia for three months. You'll be working here in Australia. So this is correct. In Melbourne, an American woman who's had high readings for methamphetamine has just been frisk searched and nothing has been found. Officers conclude that the readings must be a consequence of her occupation back in L.A. I'm a nurse and I just traveled here from California and I'm also a drug and alcohol counselor. So I come into contact with people that, that, that are on drugs and trying to get off drugs and I sometimes help them dispose of drugs. And so apparently when they did their little scan of my items, they detected trace amounts of drugs on my belongings. So we just had a big huge uh, check of my belongings and tried to sort everything out. And so I, I think it's all sorted out now, but they do a good job. <laughs> but at another bench, this Japanese national is not going anywhere soon, as officers suspect they may be dealing with a possible drug courier. She's been Ivory Coast okay. before here, yep. and Nigeria before that. Oh. So she's staying at the budget hotel in Preston. Her bag has been x-rayed and the image clearly shows two abnormal densities in the lining of the bag. Judging by the x-ray image, we believe that there may be a concealment there. It will still need to be tested. And at the bench, Officer Janelle has noticed a concerning detail about the woman. It was revealed that she is pregnant. Uh, she's approximately 32 weeks along. A swab is now taken to be tested to see if there are any traces of narcotics. That's meh, good rating. This is serious, sir. This is very serious. An Australian couple returning from China has been caught making a false declaration about a large amount of prohibited items they are trying to bring back in their bags. What we've found initially are chestnuts and um, a melon, a bit of fruit, dates, cheese, and now we've found some seeds items uh, for growing. What's that for? You don't know. It's in your bags and you don't know. These are seeds for sowing, aren't they? Yeah. Not allowed. And this find is not the last of it. Now, that's concealed in a tea bag, isn't it? Oh, my God. That's the same as these other seeds, sir. Oh. Did you see the word seeds in there? Why haven't you ticked? I, I don't know. As even more items are found, 
The couple continue to plead ignorance. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. But they may not be as naive as they are making out. As Officer Warwick discovers, they are both seasoned travellers. You're Australian citizen? Yeah. You've been in and out of the country? But never travel, trust me. Never we do something. Well, there's going to be a bit of trouble today because you've got some food items here that you haven't declared on your card. And the situation is not looking to... good. And to make matters worse, Officer Warwick has found something he has never encountered before. Sir, what is this? Looks like part of an animal, yeah. is it? Yes. What sort of an animal? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. The fleshy appendage is certainly from some kind of animal, and discovering exactly what it is is sure to be disturbing. What is it? What is it? Before you just go 10 days, now three months. Honey, I don't know how to live my days without you. Australian Border Force Officer Lee is struggling to believe that this man and his friend are intending to stay in Australia for just one week's holiday, when a number of messages on his mobile phone suggests otherwise. This is indicating that you're planning to, you know, be in Australia for three months. You'll be working. These are from uh, my girlfriend. I just sent her this message just to get away from her. I wouldn't be staying in one place for three long months. It's an unlikely explanation, and Officer Lee's concerns are shared by her supervisor. I find this really implausible. You don't oh. just go and tell your partner that you're going away for three months for work and then you arrive the next day in a foreign well, country. She's, yeah, she's not his partner, she's his girlfriend. Regardless, yeah. he's turned around and said that he's not available for three months. Yeah. Yesterday, he said that to her and he's going to be away working while he's turned up here. Taking this into consideration, along with both the men's conflicting stories, there is now enough evidence to make the next step. After weighing up all of the information available to me, I am satisfied that grounds for cancelling the visa outweigh the reason for not cancelling. I have therefore decided to cancel the visa. With both the men's visas cancelled, they will be returned home on the next flight and they face being excluded from entering Australia for three years. X-ray of a bag belonging to a heavily pregnant Japanese woman is showing a possible concealment. And a swab has tested positive. That's meth, good reading. She has been read her rights and has been escorted to an interview room. Officers originally took her aside due to a number of suspicious details to her travels. She was in Nigeria for approximately two months before travelling to the Ivory Coast. Yeah. Also, she stated that she was only here for a short time, three days. She had never been here before. She didn't seem to know a lot about Australia. She had no set plans while she was here. All she mentioned was that she was shopping. Her empty bag still shows a strange mass on the X-ray. The image shows there could possibly be a concealment within the uh, sides of the bags, so we'll examine that further. It will now be drilled to see exactly what is concealed inside. An unidentified animal part has been found in the suitcase of this Australian couple returning from China. Sir, what is this? What is it? Looks like part of an animal, is it? Yes. What so. sort of an animal? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Oh, deer. From deer. From a deer? Yeah. Again, you haven't ticked, have you? You I'm haven't sorry, ticked sorry, at sorry, all? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not. Well, so is not good. On further inspections of that, it looks like the um, parts of uh, a deer penis 
that they um, obviously eat for um, whatever reasons, health reasons. Most of these items... Deer penis is used in traditional Chinese medicine and to retain its properties is often extracted from the live animal. It's believed to have various health benefits, including enhancing sexual potency in men. Okay, that's why I got a sleeping pill for sure, because I'm a little bit sick. It doesn't matter whether you got a certificate or uh, not, uh, you uh, have not declared. Uh, 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 okay. It's part of an animal, or part of a deer, and okay. it's not allowed in this form. Okay. Okay? It's raw meat, it could have animal diseases such as anthrax or foot and mouth disease. We can't be sure what's in it. It needs to be commercially prepared in a can, cooked in a can, not raw dried meat with part of the hair attached. You're going to be fined $340 today for not declaring these foods. Uh, it's okay, going to cost you. Okay, I agree. Yes, you have to. Because I did not see the I have to. Okay. Yes. On top of paying the $340 fine, all of the couple's seized items will be destroyed, making this a very expensive lesson. Australian Border Force officers are about to drill a bag that they believe has narcotics hidden inside its lining. The heavily pregnant Japanese woman who owns the suitcase has been taken to an interview room and is still maintaining her innocence. Her demeanour is quite calm. She doesn't seem to be too much concerned. Um, she, she's just stayed the same level the entire way through. The bag has now been drilled and a powder has been extracted. A white crystal substance has actually come out of the side of the baggage. This is taken to be tested with a machine that fires a laser through the substance. These devices usually produce an extremely accurate reading. Methamphetamine, 92%. The result and the purity will be confirmed in a lab, but for now, the 23-year-old woman is handed over to the Australian Federal Police.